here we are at the Jawaswi School Garden. It's quite a changed environment. Birds are singing in the background. And uh, Craig McIntosh and I just stepped into the Shade House Garden here. Um, it's 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning. And to our surprise, in front of us, what I've got in my hands quite a, 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 a surprise to us. It's here is a little desert frog. What a great environment. A little desert frog in our garden. Now that's got to be an indicator that we're doing a few things right. When you consider what the landscape's like around us. And there's a frog living right here. I'm not going to scare him too much longer, so I'm going to let him go. We, we were here eight months ago, in October uh, 2009. Um, what I saw when I left, the earth was just getting broken and they started digging the trenches for the, uh, for the beds, uh, not raised beds, but sunken beds uh, inside the shade house behind us. It's very different now. What, what are your observations on this? I'm just amazed. I've, I've been very anxious um, to come to come here, to come back to Jordan, to take a look at the site and to see what kind of transformation has taken place. And we're in June now. It's June 7th, so we're entering sort of the dead heat, and we're in the lowest spot on Earth. So this is just really, really hot. And to see the plants and the trees just taking off, the trees that we had planted were just maybe like about, oh, perhaps like a meter high, and they've actually doubled and tripled in size. I'm just astounded. And a lot of that has to do with mulching, because mulching is something that uh, the people here and also you know, over in Afghanistan, it's a new concept for them. And to be able to, where water is such a scarce resource, and to be able to retain that water has made a tremendous difference just in the, the rapid growth. And the, uh, the greenhouse behind us, I am just thrilled with. I mean, it's just a profusion of vegetables and vine vegetables and fruits and flowers, which means that we are going green in the desert. You can grow things in the de desert, but you have to use a permaculture and an organic and a sustainable approach in order to do that. This isn't the first crop, is it? No, this is the first, uh, this is the third one now. Third crop? Third crop. Mm -hmm coming through this little shade house. Yeah. And um, it's really interesting to see the, the ground. It's actually when, when we hit the ground uh, eight months ago, it's, it's basically powdery, salty. It, it was soil. hard packed, I know. And now it's, it's, it's different. And what's, what's happening to the, um, the produce that they're getting from this? Well, it's, um, we, it's, if, we, if you look out, which is there, it's a small kitchen for the school. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the classroom for the school, for the kids. So we're feeding and, the teachers and, and the students. And just for the, like, teaching them economy, because they grow the produce, they teaching them how they use it in the kitchen, they take the produce to the kitchen, and the leftover, they sell it. And they just teaching them how they could make So, so they're actually selling some, selling some surplus for yeah. added income for the they school? Do, they do, actually uh, selling it. They do connect everything and they have a book with them. And the manager, the garden manager, she's holding the, non, the, the book with her. And they basically put everything down and what they've been doing and 
how many crops and how much they produce. Nadia, maybe we can hear from one of the students what they have to say about the, the, the work that they're doing here. Uh, I, I'm here amongst the kids here from the school and I have uh, May and Aisha and Naha. They from different class. They high school and primary school. And May, uh, show show that it's a school. Yeah, uh, she's actually it's very excited. She said thank you for uh, for the PRI of Australia actually as our organization. Kids are sweet and, and Jordan. And she thanks us for this project and she's uh, actually asking if we could uh, make it a little bit more bigger than that. She's, she wanted to be more extended a bit more further. And Aisha, 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 what are you doing when you come to the house and you can learn how to do the things that you can learn? We can learn from the beginning, of course, not only from the Australian community, but also from the community. She thanks us again and she said uh, it's been very pleasure to work in this uh, project, especially teach the families, the poor families here, to depend on themselves when they grow their own food because they learn from, the kids learn here and they take it back home. And she said it's been excellent to, to do all this stuff. And she's, again, she said, this is a small project, but it's been a fantastic small project to, be, to take big ideas out, out there. And I, Maha, Maha. Oh, it's Maha, so, so, I learned so many things from when I كنت في المنتوج تبيعوا منتوج اشياء زي هيك تعلمت كيف تتعاملوا مثلا بالماده كيف ممكن تعملوا خلينا نحكي مصاري تساعد البنات على هالاشياء هسه احنا بالبيت مثلا تفهموا الموجود عندنا في المدرسه She said it's been very good uh, um, uh, model this small project, and she requested us uh, nicely if we could help out to extend this project. And she's saying it's teach people really well because they cook better than they go out if they very poor and buy their food from outside. They could just grow it in the backyard, and they do it, and they learn something very very important. She said grow their own need without any chemical. This is very, very important to them, she said. We just learned that um, the Department of Education in Jordan is having some kind of competition uh, about the gardens. Yeah, that's right. It's just the uh, principal of the Joasra School. She told me they are uh, going for uh, a competition with uh, all the other schools in uh, the country. They do it every year because they try to teach the, uh, the kids about the environment uh, here in Jordan because all the trouble happening around the world. And yeah, they're going for it and seem to be there in the top five and it uh, will be interesting to see which, which way they are. So we've the got, got the whole school, uh, the whole um, Department of Education and, and potentially all the schools in Jordan looking at this as a, as a pattern for yeah. gardens and in, in schools. Uh, in other parts of the country. Yeah, they heard about it and they wonder what they're doing and they came along and had a look and see what they've been doing and they like it and I had phone calls from all the principal schools around the area. They're asking us if we could help them out to start something.